Hi guys, Forearms Gamers here, and actually Jacob today, and I'm just gonna explain to you how to make a Minecraft server. This is how we run our private server at the moment during our Let's Play series and our creative series at the moment. So let's get straight to it. And firstly, you have to download the Minecraft jar from the Minecraft site. So also, no, actually, I'll go through every single step first. So I also have to download the Hamiachi server from LogMeIn. You have to run the server in a new folder and copy and paste the IP into the new server using Hamiachi, that is. Other things that you may need to know in the server is simple server commands, putting in your own worlds, and no mods. Well, at least I think there are no mods. I'm not too sure whether or not you can put mods into Hamiachi servers. If you can, can you please tell me in the comment section below because I'll be really interested in knowing how because it really live enough our Let's Play series. So, let's get straight to it with the first step. And the first step is downloading the Minecraft server jar from the Minecraft.net site. So, first of all, you want to go to this bit here, download Play Minecraft, and you need to click download. You need to download the multiplayer set, bleh, multiplayer server. Sorry about that. I just ran in blur because I didn't get my lines right. <laughs> so basically, multiplayer server here, and you click this one here, Minecraft server jar. I'm not too sure what the difference between the two are, but I actually don't know. I don't see the point between the two. Oh well. So you download that. And you keep obviously so you go straight to download and you want to get this into a new folder because it would make life a whole lot easier if you just put it into a separate folder generally. So I made a folder called Minecraft Server How to Make just to make things easier for me. And then you paste it in there and you've got that server safe and sound in that folder. So next step, oh I've already done the first step. <laughs> if you want to switch them to RAM, doesn't really matter which way you're doing. So Second step, you want to download Hamiachi. Firstly, obviously, you're going to go on Google and you can type in log me in Hamiachi, and you're going to find your way to here. And this is the way, actually, this is not quite reliable. The one I used was this one. So, as you can see, it's quite reliable. I've already clicked on it, I've downloaded it, I'm perfectly fine. So, this is the Hamiachi site you want to be downloading from. You want to download the unmanaged one. Yep, wait on a sec. Yep, the unmanaged one, that's the one you'll be able to use to, uh, one sec, as I go to tell, maybe in a matter of minutes, yep, this is the one you need to use, and, uh, basically it just allows you to link up with your buddies through Hamiachi, and you'll be able to, uh, make community servers, not community servers, because you're allowed to do it for profit, so if you want to do a server for profit, this is not the way you want to go, and basically you want to download that, I've already downloaded it, so I don't see the point of quite doing it. Once you're downloading it, you need to open it up, obviously, and you've got this little thing here and this little thing here is quite useful at all <laughs> obviously it's what runs the server I think it's fantastic so basically you want to go here and you want to create a new network and you want a network ID so let's just make it I don't know what should you call it Minecraftia <laughs> Minecraftia what the hell first one comes to my head I'm sorry and you want the password to be uh, for Jazzle or something like that yes I know what for Jazzle is Anyway, so you create that. Someone took up Minecraft here, really? Of all the names, Monster Munch. There you go. Please, no one take that up. Really? You took up Monster Munch? Uh, I'm looking at objects in my room. Wrigley's Extra. There you go. Wrigley's Extra. No one's taking up Wrigley's Extra. So, so I'm talking about Wrigley's Extra because I've got a packet of chewing gum here and it's rather nice. So, what you need to do next is you need to copy the IP address of the new server you've just created. So that would be 5.224.132.137. I've skipped a step once again. <laughs> First of all, you want to go back to this folder here and you want to run the server. If you find it easier to run the server before, please do that because I have mucked up my orders of uh, steps at the moment. So you're running the server and it's doing some weird stuff with this Java. Be sure, no, I could have pre-made one before. You want to make sure that you have a decent-ish computer to be able to run these servers, so otherwise your computer can get damaged, can overheat. I've got a uh, Z Lenovo Z570, and it's a very good computer in my opinion. It's, in my opinion, built for gaming. It's got a NVIDIA graphics card built in, the GeForce one. It's got i3 processor, 8 gig of RAM, so if you take that, on rough sort of estimation on what sort of uh, specs you need, there you go, that's what you need. So, 
you run your server and I need to click the X on here and you go to this thing here properties file server you click the properties file server and you are opened up onto this page here and as you can see here is server IP for server IP you will need to copy the Hamiachi IP so that's nasty that was nasty <laughs> so you need to copy the Hamiachi serv server IP into the server IP in the server notepad so you want 5.224.132.137 all done and this thing here is someone's going to go on about how you can edit your server you can change these things here oh, these things here into different I don't know how to pull it you can change the way your map works so here you go spawn NPCs so if you don't want like uh, testificates to spawn and pigs to spawn then you can turn that NPCs yeah that's the right thing and you can turn that to false and then a little uh, things to spawn you want animals to spawn oh so yeah testificates only so if you want animals to spawn not to spawn you want false so I can't see why you'd want that it'd be absolutely awful so then you do that you save the server options and you can run the server and now when you run the server everything should be perfectly fine you should be able to play on that server so let's get this all stuff down here and we should be able to run the server out and we get into it right so that done let's type in my password it's all in blocks so you won't be able to do much and you should be able to play other things that wants to go on to is putting in your own world so putting in your own worlds would be you go here type in run on the start menu and you want to type in percent app data percent dash dot minecraft dash saves as you'll do that you'll be entered with your save so let's say you want a map from your actual single player in which case you'll copy all the data from the world file and you copy that into this world file for your server and this will play the different map which is rather useful if you want to like show off to your mates some of your maps or something so <coughs> Also, the next thing I wanted to go on for on was simple server commands. Now, there's two that I mainly use, actually three if you put it that way. And the first thing you want to do is you want to op yourself. So, op, you type in op on the Minecraft server thing, this little part here that allows you to type in commands for the server, and you type in op your name. So, op jj one two one. That will op me. If you want to op a mate, type in op a mate. So, op uh, Mr. Mash94, my. Uh, Make Chris obviously the one who helps me out the videos. And now you should be able to join. So I've pre typed in add the server here, so you'll be able to join. And I should be able to join a random server and I should be up. Nice. Ugh, swamp. Nasty swamps. In which case, because I am now up, I should be able to type in commands in here. So let's say I want to change game mode to creative. You're typing game mode, so the command I actually want. The name of the player you want to change, so JJ121, and you type in the number in which the game mode is tied to so survival is zero and creative is one so let's enter that and my game mode has been changed i can fly it's quite useful when you're making type of uh adventure maps it's very very useful to use other than that you got toggle downfall so you're typing dash obviously you always type in dash when you're in the multiplayer like, like most multiplayer servers and you do toggle downfall all in one sentence and it should turn the rain on oh no it's raining we hate rain. So there you go. That's all done. Does it actually rain on the beach? No, it does rain on the beach. I just thought, you know, the game still did that. Oh well. So that's that done. And I don't think I have anything else to go on about. So the mods case. Uh, I don't think there's any mods. Can you please tell me if there, if there is a way you can put the mods on? If so, thank you very much if you can tell me. So I uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed this or found this very, very helpful. If you've got any other questions, please put them in the comments section below and I will try and answer them as soon as possible. So, it's been Jacob of Forearms Gamers here and peace.